Welcome to the top 10 sites you must visit in Malta. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have the stunning St. Peter's Pool. Tucked away on the southern coast of Malta, this natural swimming pool is a gem waiting to be discovered. Its crystal clear waters offer a refreshing retreat from the Mediterranean sun, and the rugged cliffs that surround it are a testament to nature's artistry. But St. Peter's Pool is not just for leisurely swims. For the adventurous souls, it offers the thrill of cliff diving, with heights just right for that adrenaline rush. Yes, it's a bit off the beaten track, but isn't that part of the charm? The journey to get there is just as enticing as the destination itself, winding through quaint Maltese villages and picturesque landscapes. So, if you're yearning for a blend of tranquility and adventure, St. Peter's Pool should be high on your list. A dip in St. Peter's Pool is an invigorating start to any Maltese adventure. Next up at number 9, we're stepping back in time with the megalithic temples of Malta. These stone structures echo the whispers of a civilization that thrived here over 5,000 years ago. The temples stand as some of the oldest freestanding structures on Earth, outdating even the Great Pyramids and Stonehenge. Imagine this, the people who built these marvels did so with rudimentary tools, yet their work has withstood the test of time. Each temple, unique in its architectural design, tells its own tale of the ancient culture that once flourished here. The mystery surrounding these temples is as thick as the Maltese fog, with many questions about their construction and purpose still unanswered. These enigmatic temples are not just stone monuments, they are a testament to human ingenuity and endurance. Their presence is a reminder of our shared human history, etched in stone. With their incredible history, the megalithic temples are a must-see for any history buffs out there. Moving on to number 8, we find ourselves in the charming town of Rabat. This is a place where time seems to have stood still, captivating visitors with its narrow, winding streets that tell countless tales of a rich history. The traditional Maltese architecture with its unique blend of Arab and Norman influences is a feast for the eyes, adding a touch of antiquity to the town's allure. But Rabat isn't just about the streets and buildings. Below the surface, quite literally, lies the catacombs of St. Paul. These ancient underground burial grounds are a window into the past, presenting a fascinating exploration of early Christian life on the island. Walking through these age-old tunnels is like stepping back in time, offering a unique experience that is not easily forgotten. Rabat is a delightful taste of authentic Maltese life. It's a place where history, culture, and charm intertwine, creating an unforgettable experience that lingers long after you've left. At number 7, we're visiting the bustling town of Mosta. Nestled in the heart of Malta, Mosta is home to an architectural marvel, the Mosta Dome. Also known as the Rotunda of Mosta, this impressive structure boasts one of the world's largest unsupported domes. But the dome's grandeur isn't its only claim to fame. It carries with it a tale of a miracle from World War II. Amidst the chaos of the war, a bomb fell through the dome during a mass, yet it didn't explode. Miraculously, no one was harmed, and today, a replica of the bomb is displayed inside the church as a testament to this event. As you wander through Mosta's lively streets, you'll feel the pulse of history and culture at every turn. With its vibrant atmosphere, rich history, and breathtaking dome, Mosta is a must-visit on your Maltese adventure. And remember, miracles can happen anytime, anywhere, even in a bustling town like Mosta. Coming in at number 6, we have the colorful fishing village of Marsaxlok. This southern gem of Malta is a visual delight, brimming with an array of traditional fishing boats known as Luzus. These boats, adorned with the iconic Eye of Osiris, bob gently in the harbor, creating a vibrant spectacle against the azure Mediterranean backdrop. But the feast for the eyes doesn't stop at the harbor. Marsaxlok is renowned for its lively market, a bustling hub where locals and travelers alike come to shop. From fresh produce to artisan crafts, this market is a treasure trove of Maltese culture. And let's not forget the gastronomic delights that await you here. Marsaxlok is a seafood lover's paradise, offering a smorgasbord of fresh catches daily. Whether you prefer a simple grilled fish or a lavish seafood platter, the local restaurants here cater to every palate. For a true taste of Maltese culture, Marsaxlok is the place to be. Before we reveal our top 5, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment about your favorite site in Malta. We appreciate your support. Now back to our countdown. Kicking off our top 5, we're heading over to the beautiful island of Gozo. This idyllic paradise is a sight to behold, with its rural charm that seems to transport you back in time. 
Far from the modern skyscrapers and busy streets, Gozo is a haven of tranquility, filled with rolling hills, quaint villages and picturesque landscapes. It's the stunning coastal views however that truly set this island apart. The sight of the azure Mediterranean Sea against the rugged cliffs is nothing short of breathtaking. And let's not forget the azure window, an iconic natural arch that was a gem of the island until its unfortunate collapse in 2017. Yet, even in its absence, the site continues to captivate visitors with its raw, unspoiled beauty. Gozo is a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of mainland Malta. This charming island promises a serene retreat, making it a must-visit on any Maltese adventure. At number 4, we have the vibrant capital city, Valletta, a city that is a living testament to Malta's rich history. Valletta with its grand Baroque architecture is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and rightly so. Each corner of the city is steeped in history, whispering tales of knights, wars, and the island's sovereignty. But Valletta is not just about history. As the sun sets, the city transforms into a hub of modern nightlife. Its streets, once echoing with tales of the past, now resound with music, laughter, and the clinking of glasses. From elegant wine bars to boisterous pubs, Valletta's nightlife caters to all tastes. And let's not forget the city's culinary scene. From traditional Maltese eateries to high-end restaurants, Valletta offers a gastronomic journey that complements its historical and cultural richness. Valletta is a city that truly has something for everyone. Coming in at number three, we're exploring the historic three cities. A trio of fortified cities standing shoulder to shoulder, they offer an enchanting journey back in time. Vittoriosa, Sanglea, and Cospicua, the three cities, have a rich history that dates back to the Phoenician times. They've seen the rise and fall of empires, and their narrow, winding streets hold countless stories. Each city is a treasure trove of traditional architecture, with palaces and churches that bear witness to the grandeur of Malta's past. The waterfront is a beautiful sight, lined with traditional Maltese boats bobbing gently in the harbor. One of the highlights of the three cities is their stunning views of Valletta. The panorama from the bastions is a sight to behold with the grandeur of Valletta's skyline unfolding before your eyes. The three cities offer a slice of authentic Maltese life that's not to be missed. They're a testament to Malta's enduring spirit and a must visit for any traveler. At number two, we have the breathtaking Blue Lagoon and Camino Island. This is where the Mediterranean Sea shows off its true colors, literally. The Blue Lagoon, with its crystal clear turquoise waters, is a spectacle to behold. It's not just about the view though, the lagoon's calm and clear waters make it a perfect spot for snorkeling. It's like diving into a natural aquarium, teeming with an array of vibrant marine life. Now let's not forget about Camino Island. This tranquil island is the epitome of serenity. It's the perfect place to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life. This island's charm lies in its simplicity. There's only one hotel and no cars, just you and the soothing sounds of nature. The Blue Lagoon and Camino Island are a slice of paradise right here in Malta. It's like stepping into a dreamy postcard, a place where time seems to stand still, and the beauty of nature takes center stage. And finally, at number one, we have the stunning medieval city of Medina. Nestled in the heart of Malta, this fortified city is a living testament to the island's rich tapestry of history. Once the capital of Malta, Medina's roots stretch back over 4,000 years, bearing the marks of the Phoenicians, Romans, Arabs, and Knights of St. John. Its enchanting labyrinth of narrow, winding streets, lined with Baroque and medieval architecture, exudes an almost magical charm. Limestone buildings glow with a warm, honey hue, inviting you to explore further, to lose yourself in the city's timeless beauty. From the city walls, one can drink in the breathtaking panorama of Malta. The views are a visual feast, with the island's patchwork of fields, villages, and the sparkling Mediterranean Sea stretching out into the horizon. Medina is a timeless city that truly captures the spirit of Malta. It's a place where the past and present collide, offering a unique and unforgettable journey for every visitor. If you are curious about what not to do when you go to Malta, check out the video on screen. It will help you to avoid the faux pas that could happen during your travel to this beautiful island.